I think that successful parent-teacher uh, relationships are relationships that actually support the learning of the child. And uh, for that, uh, you have to work closely, but at the same time you have to understand that working closely with the parents will mean that you will have to need, uh, you will have to use different methodologies, different approaches to different parents. Um, the working together uh, is actually uh, a continuous kind of co-educating the child. Um, it means that the teacher needs to be open and needs to understand what kind of education is going on in the majority of the time of that child because uh, the teachers need to understand that they are doing just a little part of the education. They also very often need to encourage parents and also need to uh, make parents realize what kind of education they were doing. Just to give you an example, um, in uh, Roma, segregated Roma settlements, parents were simply not aware of their role as educators and their huge achievements. And when you make them face the fact that, well, you have been together with this little baby and now the baby walks and talks and can use the toothbrush and can eat with a knife and fork, that was your educational role. Uh, and it is an ongoing process and um, I know it's very difficult, especially when you have um, in certain uh, school uh, environments probably a hundred or even more students to follow the different pathways that the children are on. Uh, it's difficult because uh, the school has been designed to put these children, all of them, in the same little boxes and they simply don't fit because they get different kind of, kinds of education at home. Um, and also it is very important that parents and teachers work together because um, if the home environment is hostile to the school, if the home environment has the attitude that you must go to school because otherwise you will be taken from me, or you must go to school because otherwise I will be fined, you just have to survive these few totally useless years then the teacher has a much more difficult role. And if they can come to some kind of agreement that the school actually has a value, uh, then the, the, the educational success and also the feeling of success on the side of the teacher will be much higher. But for that, you need to understand the motivations of the parents. And also, sometimes you have to understand their background stories. And it takes time and effort. It's very important to engage parents in school uh, activities. But what is often uh, forgotten when educators uh, implement measures to engage parents is um, that first, you need to establish trustful and respectful relationships. Parents will not engage in measures if they feel disrespected or distrust by school staff. So it is really important at the beginning if you try uh, to engage parents that you establish a trustful relationship. And um, what is also very important and often forgotten by educators is to ask parents about their needs. What do they need and try to get feedback uh, from them. And um, what we also know from research is that there are many, many measures how to engage parents and uh, many of them are very uh, at a low threshold like um, outreach measures, how um, to, to, uh, to organize workshops where parents uh, get shown how to get the their, their homework done with your kids. Or you can uh, also involve parents in feedback rounds, feedback discussions on school improvement issues, or engage uh, parents in the school canteen or in the cafeteria where they can connect with each other and um, or you can also engage uh, parents in school activities like swim courses or other sports. What is, what is important is that every school needs to find its own solution because parents have different needs. They have different uh, social backgrounds, different uh, ethnic backgrounds. And so first you have to find out what the parents need and then you can find a strategy uh, to get them involved.